Hello friends, happy Friday. Well, as you can see, I think, uh, out the window there, it is a glorious, bright, sunny day. I would really love to share this with you as I drive home, but I messed up again. I brought the camera this time, I just didn't bring the SD card. I'm sorry, I, it's been a really busy couple of weeks, and I'm just rushing out of the house and not, not having the time to, to think about things. So, you're once again stuck with my ugly mug for a 10 or 15 minute drive. Up. Uh, also, I'm a bit of a broken record here. It's the uh, Fuente 858 Claro. Uh, I'm sorry, but when I when I want this cigar, I want this cigar. And nothing else will work. I just love that Claro wrapper. Um, it's hot here today. It's, uh, according to my car thermometer, thermometer it's 77 uh, Fahrenheit. But uh, the sun is quite bright, so the interior of the car is a lot hotter than that. So I've got the air conditioning on, which I need to turn off because I can't light the cigar with the air conditioning blowing. There we go. Very nice. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, let's see what's the best way to come around here. Yeah, it's uh, another busy week. It is going to finally, I better put that air conditioning back on. It is finally going to come to a bit of a respite at the end of next week. So I've been working towards a a big milestone at work. It's it's all good stuff, you know. I'm really happy and excited about it, but it's just you know it's occupying every waking moment, and uh, it's hard to hard to find time just to sort of decompress and do the important stuff. But I do have plans to uh, do a bit of decompression this weekend, so got a project and I might I don't know if I'll photograph this or video any of it I, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do but I have a in my backyard I have a concrete patio it's probably about uh, two feet high and then around that is a flower bed and that flower bed is made out of railroad tie which has been slowly collapsing really since we bought the house and we've been in the thing nearly 20 years now and uh, you know it's something that when we bought the house I intended to replace that wall and I still haven't done it well this weekend that wall's time has finally come I'm going to at least make a start on taking it down and we're not sure what we're going to replace it with yet but there's some other, it's, it's not quite that simple because there's some plants in the flower bed that my wife wants, so I have to relocate those and to do that, she wants them in a special place and she wants the, a border put up in it. So I probably have a day's worth of work before I can actually start taking the, the wall down. And then it's gonna probably take me the better part of a full day just to get the wall down and all that soil moved. Uh, might even be two days. Unfortunately, this is a long weekend. Now, it's going to be really hard work. Um, not exactly what I want to spend my free time doing, but you know what? After a week like I've had and the weeks I've had recently, that's exactly the kind of thing I need. You know, to work with my hands, to do hard work, to, to do mindless, not not mindless, because you have to think about what you're doing, but once you've thought about it, you can kind of go on autopilot for a while, and not have to worry about each and every word that comes out of your mouth while you're doing it, because there'll be nobody there. Uh, it's just going to be me and the dogs, probably. So, I'm looking forward to that. It, 
it's it's been a while since I've been able to do that. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So maybe I'll take some pictures and put them up on Instagram, or I don't know. Maybe I'll do a blog post about it. I'm really not sure. I'm probably not going to video it because it's just it's too much, and it's just there's no real good place to put the camera outside. It, it would. Plus, I don't want to slow down too much. But I can snap some pictures, you know, before and afters and stuff like that. And I'll give you an update on Sunday morning. But yeah, work... Work is a good thing. You know, we, we, we sometimes... get to the point where we view work as a necessary evil, but... We humans weren't built to be idle. We don't do well when we're idle. We don't. Our bodies don't don't work right if if we're not moving and doing something. You know. And I think every once in a while you just really have to burn some energy off, you know, tear some muscles, burn up some fat, all that good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'll be uh, I'll be rehydrating with adult beverages in the evenings, and you know, I don't want I don't want you to think I'm I'm, I'm suggesting that I'm going to be healthy about it. But <laughs> what's important is it's mentally healthy, and uh, yeah, sometimes we need that. You know, there's something about the male mentality that. You know, if you ask a guy, who are you, he will almost always answer with what his job description is, or what are you. If you ask a woman that, they, they generally think of it differently. I mean, not many of them would describe themselves by their jobs. We pretty uh, pretty heavily associate with with our our employment, and I guess there's good and bad in that. I mean, on the one hand, it means that you're you're sort of immersed in what you're doing. What you're doing is a part of you, and therefore you're doing your best at it. But on the other hand. A lot of us don't have jobs like that. A lot of us have jobs that we just go to to pay the bills, and that can be kind of invasive when that becomes your your reason for existence. But work is bigger than what we do from 9 to 5 or whatever hours you might keep. There's, there's work we do for ourselves. Um, might be as simple as we, we cook a dinner and that's that is work or we might uh, might be someone that goes for a run in the evening that's a type of work too you know go, going to the gym is work I guess anything that is productive and is not necessarily I was going to say enjoyable, but no, I don't even know if that's true. I guess anything that's productive could be called work. And, uh, it's not necessarily productive in that it's generating money, but sometimes it's generating other good things that we need to survive, like healthy bodies and sane minds. So I told you all Boy, it's been it's been over a year now. I joined a gym. It's a very nice gym. It's it's right around the block from where I live. I can walk to it. And uh, I've been quite frankly, I for about well, maybe about six months. I, I was doing six days a week there, and I love it. I, I really do. It's it's great, and it, it kind of ties into all the other stuff I was talking about there. You know, I get to go there. 
I can put on a pair of headphones, I've got TVs I can watch if I want to, or you know, listen to whatever I want. And I can spend an hour on a treadmill or, or you know, do weight machines or whatever I want to do. And it just I get to zone out and I get to work and you know stress my body in a good way and, and reap the benefits of that. And I, and I enjoy it greatly. But I've kind of gotten out of the habit quite significantly, to be honest. Um, for a number of reasons, you know, I've, I've mentioned several times I've got some health issues, and they're nothing terrible. They're just sort of a pain in the pain in the rear that I got to deal with now and then, and, and that just gets me down, and I don't feel like you know doing it. Uh, got some pain in one leg. My left knee bothers me a lot, and if that's kind of flared up on a day when I'm supposed to go over there, I think ah, I don't want to make this worse and, but boy if I do it's just life is just so much better and I think that's because it's one of these outlets for men to do work we're missing a train well we can't see it from here anyway but my hope is to someday get caught at the train stop when I've got the exterior camera going so you guys can see one of the trains go by they're not they're not great they're, they're uh, commuter trains, but uh, I, I love trains, and I know a lot of other guys do. Um, I, I wish we had, we do have some, but, but we don't see very often the, um, you know, the big industrial trains going by, the, the ones hauling stuff, uh, cargo or coal or whatever. We, we occasionally get one of those going through. Uh, but I'm fascinated with those. They, they can go on forever sometimes. I remember when I was very young, um, probably five or six years old, my dad had to go into work to pick something up, and he, he worked for a, what was called a paper converter. So this was a company that would take very large rolls of paper and turn them into, sorry, I don't know why I'm apologizing for the FedEx truck, but so they would take very large rolls of paper and turn them into small rolls of paper, stacks of paper, whatever was requested by the customer, so a paper converter. And um, they, the, cup, the, the factory, factory the, the facility, the site, was built where it was right up against a railroad track and trains would come in and just unload stuff into, into this, uh, off of a loading dock. And, I remember going and like going into these these large freight trains. They were empty because they had unloaded everything. And uh, my dad got me. They, they had these big black crayons that they would use to like label uh, things, like pallets of stuff and all. And he got me one of those. And I, I went into the car and I wrote my name on the inside of the car. And, you know, he was telling me about how that car is going to go all over the country and everything. And I just. I ate that up. I was so so excited about that, and I still remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, and you know that it kind of ties in. That was a bit of a tangent brought on by the train crossing, but it kind of ties in because that was one of the few times in my early life that my dad actually shared his work with me. Now later in life, before I I went off to graduate school, I actually worked at the same company for a couple of summers. Um, and that was hard work. That was um, like sweeping the, the shop floor and getting these giant rolls of paper prepared to go on machines and lots of, lots of manual labor. It felt really good when it was over, that kind of stuff. So I, uh, I won't say I miss it, but I enjoyed it when I was doing it. I met some very, very interesting people that I would have never met otherwise. And, uh, yeah, I had a, had a good time there. Yeah, work is a thread that runs through our lives. And for some of us, it's a thread that has great meaning and import. And for others, it's a sad inconvenience, that you know, a sad necessity of life. And I guess uh, finding balance in, in both of those is really important. 
you know, whether you're, you've got your, uh, your vocation and, and, and that's what you do for a living or you're going out digging ditches every day because you got to pay the bills, you got to find a way to find a balance in that to keep yourself mentally and physically healthy. And that doesn't necessarily mean resting and sleeping when you're not working because there's other types of work that are important for your mental and physical health. And I guess that's my point. Well, that was very rambly. I hope it made sense. It made sense to me. Anyway, folks, I'm going to I'm going to sign off. I'm off to the grocery store and then I'm going to head home. I hope you all have a great weekend ahead. Enjoy the long weekend. I should still catch up with you guys on Sunday. So I'll see you then. Take care.